Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsot. Pray for us. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. We ask Mary's intercession to lead us closer to Jesus, our Defender, our Protector, and our Savior. Let us now call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the venerable intercession of the glorious Virgin Mary come to our aid, we pray, O Lord, so that, fortified by her protection, we may reach the mountain which is Christ 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. Although Moses and Aaron performed various wonders in Pharaoh's presence, the Lord made Pharaoh obstinate, and he would not let the children of Israel leave his land. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, on the tenth of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb, one apiece for each household. If a family is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join the nearest household in procuring one and shall share in the lamb. In proportion, to the number of persons who partake of it. The lamb must be a year old male and without blemish. You may take it from either the sheep or the goats. You shall keep it until the 14th day of this month. And then, with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall take some of its blood and apply it to the two doorposts and the lintel of every house in which they partake of the lamb. That same night, they shall eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. It shall not be eaten raw or boiled, but roasted whole, with its head and chunks and inner organs. None of it must be kept beyond the next morning. Whatever is left over in the morning shall be burned up. This is how you are to eat it. With your loins geared, sandals on your feet, and your staff in hand, you shall eat like those who are in flight. It is the Passover of the Lord. For on this same night, I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn of the land, both man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I, the Lord, but the blood will mark the houses where you are. Seeing the blood, I will pass over you. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all your generations shall celebrate with pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me. The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid, you have loosed my bonds. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. 
To you will I offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was going through a field of grain on the Sabbath. His disciples were hungry and began to pick the heads of grain and eat them. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to him, See, your disciples are doing what is unlawful to do on the Sabbath. He said to them, Have you not read what David did when he and his companions were hungry, how he went into the house of God and ate the bread of offering, which neither he nor his companions but only the priests could lawfully eat? Or have you not read in the law that on the Sabbath, the priests serving in the temple violate the Sabbath and are innocent? I say to you, something greater than the temple is here. If you knew what this meant, I desire mercy not sacrifice, you would not have condemned this innocent man, for the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, one of the attributes of God is that He is our defender. God is our defender. Ang Diyos ang ating tagapagtanggol. And our readings today highlight this for us. In our first reading, God tells the Israelites how He will liberate them from slavery in Egypt. On the night of the Passover, on the night that they share the banquet, God said, I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn of the land, both man and beast. God will defend his people by defeating the enemy. And God will de defend the Israelites by taking care of them for on that night that God will strike down the firstborn of the Egyptians, God will protect the Israelites. How? By the blood of the Lamb on their doorposts. Iingatan sila ng Diyos. At ang kanilang mga kaaway pupuksain ng Diyos. In our gospel today, Jesus defends his disciples against the condemnation of the Pharisees. 
it was Sabbath, and the disciples were hungry. And so, as they were going through a field of grain, the disciples started to pick the head of grain and eat it, something that is forbidden to do on a Sabbath. That is why the Pharisees ridiculed the disciples of Jesus and even Jesus himself for allowing his disciples to violate the Sabbath law. But the disciples did not even have to defend themselves. Jesus defended them. Jesus emphasized the need for compassion and mercy over the blind obedience to the law. Sinasabi ni Jesus sa mga pariseyo, hahayaan ba na magu mamatay na lang sa gutom ang mga tao para lamang sumunod sa batas? Ano ba ang mas mataas at mas mahalagang batas? By saying this, Jesus defended his disciples against the condemnation and the judgment of the Pharisees. God is our defender. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. And this devotion is closely associated to the wearing of the scapular. And the scapular has a promise to those who faithfully wear it. It promises us protection against the eternal fires. It promises us peace and safety in this life. But let us not forget, my dear brothers and sisters, that Our Lady of Mount Carmel also refers to that mountain named Carmel, a very important mountain in the Old Testament. And one significant event that happened on Carmel was Elijah's bout with the prophets of Baal. 450 prophets of Baal. And on Mount Carmel, against these false prophets, God proved who the living and true God is. God defended Elijah. God is indeed our defender. My dear brothers and sisters, if we do the work of God, if we strive to be good, if we strive to be just and honest, if we speak the truth, there will always be people who will go against us. If we do the work of God, there will be people who will malign us. If we do what is good, there will be people who will try to destroy us. But God promises us today, He is our defender. We do not even have to do anything. God will be in our defense. I remember our former Archbishop, Cardinal Jaime Sin. It was during that time that he was maligned, he was ridiculed because of his political stances. And there were many people who were attacking him. He had many detractors. But surprisingly, during that time, Cardinal Sin was very quiet. He was not issuing any statement. He was not speaking to media in order to defend himself. 
And so the attacks and the ridicule continued on. And the priests were very concerned about him and asked him, Your Eminence, will you not speak to defend yourself? Will you not answer the accusations hurled against you? And Cardinal Sin simply said, If we are going to defend other people whose rights are violated, if it is for people who are abused and condemned, we will speak and defend them. But if it is for us, if we are the ones being maligned, ridiculed, we will not speak. We will not defend ourselves. We will allow God to defend us. And it is true, my dear brothers and sisters, if we do God's work, God will defend us. We simply have to put our trust in Him. And we will see, we will be surprised that our detractors, our offenders will be defeated. They will destroy themselves even if we are not doing anything at all. Please stand. Let us pray to God the Father as we honor Mary, our Lady of Mount Carmel. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may share Mary's faith with the world and follow God's will with joy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the Holy Spirit may overshadow the church, filling it with obedience and faith and fruitfulness in good works, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That as Mary's body became the dwelling place of the Word, we may honor our own bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may devote our lives to the study and contemplation of God's word, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may find in Mary a true refuge, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who requested our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, send the Holy Spirit upon us so that we may hear your word in faith and fulfill it in our lives. Give us hearts that are joyful and obedient to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, 
the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to the ends of the earth, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May your voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy, worthy that, you that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Oh, 
sa mundong sa pag-ibig ay kapos. Ikaw, Jesus, ang tinapay ng buhay binasbasan, hinatit, inialay. Buhay na ganap ang sa aming kaloob at pagsasalong walang hanggang. Marapatin sa kapwa maging tinapay kagalakan sa nalulumbay. Katarungan sa naapi at kanlungan ng bayan mong sawi. Please stand. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who receive, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall now have the blessing of the scapulars. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, Savior of the human race, with your right hand sanctify these scapulars, which your servants are to wear devoutly out of love for you and your mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary of Mount Carmel, in order that through the intercession of the same Blessed Mother, they may be defended from the evil one, and may persevere in your grace until death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Receive these blessed scapulars and pray to the Most Holy Virgin Mary, that by her merits you may wear them without stain, and that she may guard you from all adversity and bring you unto everlasting life. Amen. After the Mass, we shall have the distribution of the scapulars. May we request everyone to form two lines, just like what you did during communion. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen.